hello and welcome back to my tarot corner and uh, this reading uh, today will be about the said animosity between Sarah and Camilla now I've been uh, looking at all of the list of uh, subjects that I have and I have quite a long list of subjects but many of them was were already done by other readers so I don't want to uh, do something that was done by other readers so I'm trying to find uh, subjects that weren't and this, some, this is something that I didn't see anyone do and I want to see the energies around this animosity so I'm going to do the nine card uh, um, spread and see uh, what is the current situation, what was in the past, what is the hidden influence around this. This is a very good spread in order to find the, uh, everything around the subject. So uh, uh, this is a very regal looking uh, um, uh, deck which is called the Golden Tarot of the Renaissance. Uh, it is not very much like the Rider weight, but it is very beautiful, very uh, beautiful cards with gilded, uh, which is gilded inside, so it's very nice. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to clear the deck. And now I'm going to ask energy around Sarah and Camilla's relationship, energy around Camilla and Sarah's uh, uh, relationship, energy around Camilla and Sarah Ferguson's relationship. So the first card is what is the current situation and I get the uh, uh, nine of pentacles. So it doesn't look like a very bad situation. The nine of pentacles is a card of uh, wishes come true. This is a card of uh, getting um, rewarded after a uh, uh, hard work so it looks like the current situation is not that bad it looks like uh, uh, this is a card of success this is a card of uh, getting getting a profit after working very hard so it doesn't look like they are uh, in any animosity right now let's see what is the clarification card and the clarification card is the seven of wands and the seven of wands can explain very much like why they are not uh, in a bad situation right now because the seven of wands is a card that speaks about uh, being focused on what is important and leaving all of the uh, non-important things aside and this is a card that says okay they decide they realized both of them that what is important is the uh, future of the monarchy uh, the the uh, prince uh, andrew's uh, future or whatever is important and they decided to uh, be more concentrated on the most important things and leave all the uh, animosity and uh, uh, fightings that didn't lead to anything good uh, uh, aside and just uh, 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 concentrate on the important things. So this uh, clarifies why there is no animosity right now. Uh, what can we see about the past? And in the past we see uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles is a woman that is very, um, very uh, 
uh, stable, someone who uh, uh, knows how to uh, to be stable even when there are changes. Uh, she is the shopkeeper. She is. Uh, she knows how to uh, take care of things, uh, and this can very be uh, the queen herself because this is an earth sign woman, and the queen is a Taurus. So in the past, the one who was uh, in charge was the queen, and she was the one who, the one that was most important and she was the one that took the decisions so that is in the past and probably today she still is very important but maybe she is not taking all of the decisions as she used to okay so what can we see about the hidden influence and the hidden influence is the nine of cups and the nine of cups is a is a, a another good card the card of wishes come true uh, this is a card of happiness this is a card of uh, being uh, uh, abund to getting abundance and knowing how to accept abundance this is someone who is successful in business uh, this is a card of a lot of emotions so uh, the hidden influence is the uh, nine of cups which is success and abundance and uh, uh, I would say that uh, uh, both Sarah realized that in order to be happy and to have abundance uh, she uh, had better stay in the royal family and this is why she's staying with Andrew and this is why she's still living with him because when she tried to leave she uh, got uh, she was uh, bankrupt and was uh, in a very bad uh, financial situation so she understands that her best place is the royal family she wants to stay there so she is doing whatever she can to be there and that and that means uh, being okay with everyone around her and being okay with Camilla is uh, one important thing so uh, that is the hidden influence uh, the Sarah's wish to uh, stay happy and uh, to receive abundance so this is the uh, uh, hidden influence and the next card clarifies it and we get the uh, knave of swords which is the page of swords and the page of swords is uh, the one that we call him the reporter so he is a very good in communication uh, <clears throat> but he also has tendency to lie uh, he is very good in verbal communication. So I would say that Sarah realized that in order to be happy, she needs to uh, be uh, okay with everyone. And even if it means lying, even if it means uh, having a slick tongue and being uh, over nice to everyone, uh, just in order to stay in the royal family and stay uh, with the abundance and the uh, 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 good relationship with everyone. Uh, okay, the next card is what is the present. So in the present we get uh, the lovers. And the lovers is a card of, uh, first of all, okay, being in love and uh, having a, a good relationship. But the, f the most important thing is being total. Being total means uh, taking out from your life everything that is disturbing uh, it and leaving just the things that are helping you to go forward. And this is the current situation. So the current situation is that both Camilla and Sarah realize that in order to go on and to that for the monarchy to go on and to go on with their 
uh, very uh, 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 comfortable way of living. Uh, they need to take out all of the things that are uh, disturbing them and animosity is one of them and just uh, leave the things that are uh, uh, leading them forward. Now animosity and uh, rivalry and bad feelings are things that are uh, stopping every every person from uh, going forward. Every person that has uh, is harboring these emotions is usually uh, uh, unable to go forward because all of these uh, feelings of uh, uh, animosity and rivalry and hatred are uh, uh, keeping him um, stuck in the past. So letting those thing, feelings go and cutting them out of your uh, pathway is helping you to uh, stay uh, on your path and to go forward. So this is the present. Now, what is the advice? So the advice that we can give them is the Six of Cups. And the Six of cup, it's Cups is the, is the card of second chances and nostalgia. So uh, uh, I would say that uh, the advice is to give one another a second chance to remember the good things and uh, uh, let the bad things go and uh, to uh, even get out of the comfort zone in order to, for uh, the relationship to uh, go forward and to be good. So, and this is something that they are probably doing because we see that the relationship is uh, is uh, getting, uh, they are getting along fine. So this is the advice and the next card is clarifying the advice and we get the nine of wands and the nine of wands is the card of um, being resilient and uh, staying uh, standing on uh, in order to get uh, past the last uh, uh, hurdle or the last uh, uh, obstacle and hold on. Uh, even though uh, it's very difficult. Uh, it, thinking that if you hold on, then you will succeed. Now, this as a clarification of the six, six of cups means that it is not very easy for them to forget and to uh, leave everything uh, in the past. It's not very easy for them to uh, just uh, put aside all of the uh, rivalry that was in the past, but uh, they are uh, uh, realizing that they need to hold on uh, uh, and get over that obstacle in order to succeed. Now, uh, if they won't do that, then we will get the 10 of wands, which is overload and excess of uh, things that disturb them. And what can we see in the near future? So in the near future, we can see the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups is the card of letting go, of letting things uh, go and uh, leaving them to the, uh, for the, um, uh, uh, for the um, universe to solve the problems. And this is a card of a, uh, Letting, leaving everything for the universe and whatever will be, will be. This is a card of giving up the struggles. This is a card of letting go of all of the uh, animosities, all of the rivalry, leaving everything uh, in the past. So this is the near future. In the near future, they will stay in a good relationship in order to uh, allow the monarchy to go on and uh, in Camilla's side in order to allow uh, Prince Charles uh, become a king and uh, uh, be a good king as much as he can and from Sarah's side uh, in order to help Andrew and to help herself stay in the royal fold. So uh, this is uh, the uh, tarot uh, about Camilla and Sarah and now I want to take a, a, a very nice uh, 
this is a very nice uh, uh, tarot, um, not tarot, oracle deck that is called um, Believe in Your Own Magic, that it has a crown in the, uh, uh, in the, in the uh, reverse side of the, uh, uh, of the cards. But, because, uh, but this is a, a, a deck of uh, very good messages and uh, very uh, building messages for women, especially for women. So let's see what can we give for either Sarah and for Camila. So, a message for Sarah Ferguson, a message for Sarah Ferguson, a message for Sarah, sorry, a little bit slippery. Just one moment. So, a message for Sarah Ferguson, a message for Sarah Ferguson, a message for Sarah Ferguson. So let's see. And we get morning. The world awaits you. So this is a card of getting up in the morning and knowing that the world awaits you. Now we know that she started a lot of new, uh, new uh, projects. Uh, she's writing uh, books now, and this is a person. This is a person who is getting up in the morning and is uh, happy for the next day because the world awaits him. So this is the message for uh, Sarah, uh, to be positive about the, the future and be positive about uh, her next uh, uh, ventures. Now let's see what message can we give Camilla. So, message for Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Message for Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Message for Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. And we get voyage. You already have all the answers. So this is uh, a card of uh, someone who is just you know, going on a voyage, uh, in the discover a discovery voyage. But the card says you already have all the answers. So you have everything it takes. You have everything you need, and uh, just use those good energies and then everything will be okay. So this is it, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, write me a comment, write me an email, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.